Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. Coming at you Monday. It's a bank holiday in the UK, so it's going to be light this morning. Uh, we're going to make this quick. Um, we got some other stuff on our mind this morning other than FX. Um, as you can see, not much movement. Uh, not much movement out here. Some of the yen stuff is higher. Aussie here is just mildly lower after printing an 81 high, back down at 50, but still pretty bullish. This is the last day of the month. There should be some residual dollar selling today at the fix. That's something to keep in mind. If you want to play that game, you can probably try and try and buy some Aussie between sort of say 35 and 20, 73, 35, 73, 20. Euro, not doing dick. Uh, up to 30, back where we started, then back where we closed on Friday at the figure. This could easily flop down to 70. Um, same play as Aussie if you feel like trading Euro. Just try and snug some in on the bid, maybe late in the afternoon when New York gets in. I don't see any reason to trade at all in the European morning here. Um, that's just if you want to play this fix type play uh, and keep in mind a lot of the fix business uh, is probably done so you know it, you're it's a pretty weak strategy if you're sitting here uh, you know waiting for fix flows uh, on the last day of August dollars are Big, big red day. A surprising red day on uh, Friday. This thing looks like it's going to visit down here, this this 40 area. Last time we were down here, it really did not like it. And then we had those six, seven, eight up days in a row. Um, watching this very closely. We're looking for the turn. We are, we are not uh, trying to own Zar as it gets stronger. Um, we are looking for the turn in dollars are. Price will tell us. Um, so we're just waiting and watching. Stocks. A lot of green there, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Does this remind anyone of February uh, earlier this year? Where every day it kind of goes up. Not a lot. 15, 20 handles. Real low volatility. Basically just stopping people out. So tactical guys who are short because it doesn't make any sense to be long here it's now so stretched uh, without any kind of pullback are leaving stops just above the high those stops get done um, and then we just sit there stops are done there's no other business to do we just sit there at the highs or we just sit we just sit there and we'll do some sort of nonsense and when New York comes in the sort of up and down Jimmy Jam uh, but we just sit there we're waiting for this to turn um, price will tell us. Apple, uh, which is part of the story here, is not going up anymore. All the split nonsense is uh, the cat's out of the bag. The horse has bolted, whatever. Um, this two trillion company probably is going to lose 500 billion in market cap. Um, so just waiting to see you know this is a basically a move from 500 down to say 400 not going to zero but um, we're not short this we're just watching it and we're patiently waiting for this to turn because when this turns and only when this turns um, will the S&P turn so we're using this as a sort of harbinger what else is out there? Dollar CAD, same chart as Euro. Basically down, but stubborn, sloppy. Kind of like a, you know, acting like an LA slut. Just kind of sloppy. Hard to, hard to get a grip on. Um, volatile. Some big downs, but then some rippers on the top side, right? Look at that, ripper. 30, 50, 
3125 on nothing. That was prefix uh, Friday and then bang, 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 right back lower. Tough. Uh, we, we don't have a dog in this fight, but she looks like she wants to go lower. The big moment now is 129.50. We're going to zip through that. I seriously doubt it. Uh, but maybe. Could happen. Um, this dollar weakness is also getting a little stretched. I think it's still in play for sure. Uh, but it's getting a little bit stretched as well. And the story in Canada is, is a little spookier than, than, than people think. So we're not, we're not super dovish dollar cad. You can see I'm just grasping at straws here, trying to figure out what's going on in FX for today. Tactically, uh, we won't be trading this morning at all, um, with the exception of uh, fixed income. These charts sort of speak for themselves. I don't know what you would call this pattern or whatever. I don't really care. Um, this sort of weird inflation monster is, is lurking. All of these uh, fixed income instruments are wha are wickedly mispriced. Um, this is Boone's. We all know Boone's yield negative. It's minus 40 basis points. Normally, we would wait till we get towards minus 60 or minus 70 to short Boone's, but it just looks like shit's changing. And I don't, you know, I'm just guessing it's inflation. It could be just. I don't know, risk on, selling fixed income, it could be that, it could be a lot of things, um, the coming default crisis, cash flow default crisis that's uh, sort of on the horizon, watch Boone's here, um, through 175.06, we're up at 60, so there's no drama here, there's no rush, there's no rush to the gate, um, you can see this on the yield. We're talking basically about 38 basis points. PTPs, same chart. Uh, I bet if you put up the French oats and the Spanish, I don't know what the fuck they are, pasadas or bazookas or whatever, Spanish 10 years are going to be the same. Uh, we don't trade that shit. We mainly trade BTPs, so this is our focus and boons. But BTPs is more of a focus uh, because when there's a cash flow crisis, Italy's gonna gonna take one in the groin. Um, a little more fragile. These Italian instruments, like a lot of things, Italian, fairly fragile. Um, versus the German stuff, which is. Uh, fairly robust anyway uh, here we are looking at European fixed income as far as uh, US fixed income just to keep in mind if you're trading ZB um, at CME you gotta switch to um, December right we're now trading CBZ. CBU is, is up for delivery, so we're, we're switching contracts. We're trading uh, ZBZ, which is, you know, 174. Um, different contract, but, you know, it's, it's all about yield. Uh, it's all about yield. I think it's TXY. In the... Uh, TYX even in the fixed income it's not really as much about contract it's about yield you can see um, we're just playing this game higher yields uh, we're looking for this to go to 176 so we've got some room still uh, and now you just want to sell high ones sell high price movements in um, in ZB Anyway, I've said enough. Focus is on European fixed income. We aren't doing any FX today. We'll have a relook at FX this afternoon, but things get more interesting and the story gets more interesting. 
We got Aussie rates, Aussie GDP, we got unemployment at the back end of the week, we got PMIs, we got ISM. Today we got Dick. So uh, save your save your bullets for later in the week. Good luck out there. Ciao.